Welcome to Children in Worship at New Dublin Presbyterian Church. And we are so missing seeing all of you. We've got everything we need here in the worship room, but, but I see empty spaces and we have been missing you guys a whole bunch. It makes it hard to, to tell the stories without you guys being here. Um, but still, we are blessed to have this space and this time that we can still come together and listen to God and talk to God and hear the stories of God. And that's a pretty special thing. So one way we like to get ready to be in that special place and to be with God is to sing songs of praise. So let's sing Jesus Loves Me today. And Nana's, in, Nana's here and she's gonna help me sing. <laughs> Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. And then we like to sing a very special song called Be Still and Know to help get us ready to be in that special place so that we can hear the story. So we take a deep breath, make our bodies still and quiet. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. This is the desert box. so many important and special things happened in the desert that we like to have a little piece of it in our classroom to help us tell the stories. The desert is a wild and strange place. In the daytime, it's burning hot. But at nighttime, it's freezing cold. And when the wind comes, it shapes and it molds and it moves the sand so that it's always changing. The desert is never the same. John the Baptist lived in the desert. near the Jordan River. And the people of God would come and listen to John. And John said to them, get ready. God is sending someone very special. The special son of God is coming. Get ready. But the people of God weren't sure what getting ready meant. So John said, get ready. You have to change your ways and change the way you live. Do the 10 best ways to live. And I will take you through the water and baptize you and make you clean and new. So John took the people of God through the water, baptized them. 
clean and new. One day, Jesus came to John. And said, baptize me. So John took Jesus through the water. Baptized him. And the heavens opened up and the Spirit of God came to Jesus and the voice of God said, this is my special son. Now I wonder what it was like for the people of God to hear John say to them, change your ways. And I wonder how hard it was for them to change those ways. I wonder what it was like for them to go through the water and be baptized and what it felt like to come out and be clean and new. I wonder what it was like for John to see Jesus and to hear him say, baptize me. I wonder what it was like for the people to wait for so long to see the special Son of God. And if they're ready to be so close to the Son of God. I wonder how you get ready to be close to God. Welcome back. The story that we just heard together today was called um, John Baptizes Jesus. And the stories that we listen to together, the stories of God, are in the Bible. And that story you can find in the Bible in Matthew chapter 3. And I'm going to start with verse 13. But first, don't let me forget. Oh, I forgot something real important. <laughs> We're going to light the Christ candle. We have our own Christ candle in the worship room, just like we have in the sanctuary, to remind us that God is always near, but especially when we hear the words of the Bible. So let's listen to, to the word of God. Then Jesus appeared. He came from Galilee to the Jordan River to be baptized by John. But John tried to stop him and said, I need to be baptized by you. Why are you coming to me? And Jesus answered him, This is the way it has to be now. This is the proper way to do everything that God requires of us. And then John gave in to him. And after Jesus was baptized, he immediately came up from the water. Suddenly the heavens were opened and he saw the Spirit of God coming down as a dove to him. And then a voice from heaven said, This is my son, whom I love, my son with whom I am pleased. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
And now we'll say a prayer together and you can um, say your very own special prayers because God hears our prayers even when we don't say them out loud. Um, but let's close our eyes and talk to God. Dear Lord, we give thanks for this day and the special time to be with you. And we ask that you fill us up with your light and your spirit so that we can share your light with others. Amen. And now I'm going to change the light that was in one time and one place so that it can be in all times and all places, just like God's love. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere.